Hello everybody, how are you guys doing? My name is Nacho Moya. I'm the artist and owner of Moya Art Gallery and Studio in Gilroy. Um, how are you guys doing today? Great, great everybody. Uh, because today we're gonna be painting a beautiful masterpiece here. Uh, it's a little kitty on the trees. Uh, it's super, super nice to be honest. It's super, super nice. You guys are gonna love uh, painting this with me here. And I wanted to tell you something. Uh, I want you guys to have fun, relax, and, and the most important thing for me is for you to have fun, okay? Just have fun, and that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna be painting this beautiful masterpiece, this uh, moon and the cat and uh, beautiful colors here. Uh, I want you to uh, do something here for me. I want you to uh, be creative, and it doesn't have to look like mine, okay? So do your best and we're gonna have fun right now, okay? So what we're gonna do right now, I'm gonna show you how to, uh, the colors, I mean, I'm gonna show you the colors. The colors we're gonna use for this painting, very simple. Uh, we're gonna use blue. Uh, we're gonna use um, a black. We're gonna use, um, also we're gonna use the, um, Purple, red, uh, black, uh, white. Blue, black, uh, purple, red, white. These are the colors that we're gonna be using um, right now. Also, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how the brushes we're gonna be using. Uh, the brushes I have here with me, they're a little bit old, uh, but it's okay, I really like this one. This is a little older uh, paintbrush, but I really like it, it's really, really nice. Uh, it's really cool. I really like this brush and I also have a, just another one. It's a medium size It's a flat and of course, I'm gonna need a skinny one just to do some little details like these little lines the punches there and everything So it's really really awesome. Okay, so give me a second. Give me a second here um, All right, so um, This is what we're gonna do now so, um, get, uh, also I want you guys to get a cup of water. Uh, this is what we need to clean our brushes for the next color. Um, also, um, I will recommend you guys to have also a, a paper towel for you guys to clean your brush and everything. All right, so this is what we're gonna do now. Very simple step. So we're gonna get our big brush. This is something that I wanna start with. Use the thicker brush. It doesn't have to look like mine. I want you guys to just pick something a little thicker, uh, not not the skinny one because, or not this one, because it's gonna take forever to just go blend colors. So we're gonna do, we're gonna be blending colors, everybody. And this is gonna be super, super cool. Uh, this is what we're gonna do now, okay? You guys ready? All right, that's, I'm ready too. So let's do this one here. Uh, well, I'm going to dip my brush in the water, okay? Just dip my brush in the water. And I'm gonna get, I'm gonna mix two colors. I'm gonna mix, uh, to make pink. What do you guys think, you know? Um, uh, do you guys know how to make pink, by the way? Okay, okay, that's right, you know? We are doing red and white. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get a little bit of red, just a little tiny bit of red and more white. So I'm gonna create this pink color. Uh, this pink color, okay. So I may put the little uh, light, little less, less bright. Okay, so let's got that pink color here, just like that. So this is what we're gonna do. With this color pink, we're gonna do something very cool. Uh, I'm gonna grab my uh, canvas. So I'm gonna make a circle, like a moon right here, okay. Just make a circle with that uh, uh, pink color. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna make a circle, very simple circle. All right, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just like that, very simple step. Just make that circle in and and, and pink. I was gonna say in purple. <laughs> it's in pink color, everybody. Just pink color. Uh, just go around, just make a circle, very simple step. Uh, I, I want you guys to also know that it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect, everybody. Um, just, you know, have fun. 
uh, that's really important for you guys to have fun and and it's okay for you guys to just not you know it doesn't have to be perfect okay just like that all right just like that very simple step all right so um i'm gonna go a little bit uh, i'm gonna add a little bit more pink okay so a little bit more pink here all right so i'm gonna add a little bit more pink one more extra layer here okay there you go there you go just like that very simple step you see i went over here but i'm gonna fix that little line gonna go around just like that very simple step that's all you need to do get that pink color here very simple i'm excited to go for the next step if you guys are ready for the next step let me know i can just go for the next step you guys ready i still need more time all right just don't forget that this class, it's all about having fun, being creative, and uh, stay very positive, you know, we can do it. Uh, it's, it's super easy, everyone, you know that. You guys are really doing a really good job, I know that right there. All right, so, okay, so um, I'm gonna clean my brush. I'm gonna clean my brush, rinse it on the water, right here on my water. Just clean it here, use my uh, paper towel to dry my brush. And the next color, Guess what's next? What's uh, the next color? Can you guess? Guess. All right. I know the next color we're gonna mix this purple color, and that's super easy. I have purple on my plate already made, but if you guys don't have purple, you can also mix blue and red. It makes purple. All right. But I have my purple here, so I'm gonna get purple color from my plate. Okay. So just purple color. There you go, I have purple color. And what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna blend the purple around uh, the um, the pink. So let me show you. So this is what I'm gonna do. Add the purple around the pink. But remember, we're gonna blend it. We, let's blend it with the pink a little bit there, okay? That's okay. Remember, always add a little bit of water in your paintbrush. It's easier to spread the paint. All right. When you use more, a little bit of water on your paintbrush, it's easier for you to spread the paint around. So this is what I'm doing. Just go in circles like that. Just go round and round. Just like that very simple step. You don't have to... Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, remember that? Remember I keep telling you that? It doesn't have to be perfect. And just go like that. It looks like a donut to me. <laughs> it looks like a donut. It's okay, it looks like a donut, you know? it's. Let's, make, let's, let's pretend we're drawing a donut and that's why we're gonna keep doing circles like this. Just like that. Very simple step. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect, you see? Some parts are darker than the other parts. Very simple step, just like that. All right. What do you guys think? You guys having fun? You guys like this class? You know, this is a wonderful class, to be honest. I love being, teaching this class because there's beautiful colors there. Uh, I really enjoy blending colors and stuff like that. So, very simple step. How you guys doing? Doing all right? All right. So ready for the next step? Yes? All right, sounds good. Um, sounds good, you guys start doing great. I love it. So, all right, so I'm gonna clean my brush, you know, you guys gotta clean your brush. Like that. I'm cleaning my brush. There you go. There you go, I clean my brush already. So the only step, do you know what color is next for my painting here? Do you guys know? Do you guys, can you guys guess what's the next color? All right, you, right there. The blue is the next color. And that's what we're gonna use right now. Blue, it's very simple. Uh, we have, I have already blue here in my plate. I'm gonna add a little bit of water here in my paintbrush. And I'm gonna get the blue color, okay? This blue color is gonna go next 
and we're gonna fill it out the rest of the canvas the blank canvas is gonna be with blue color check it out it's like magic when we paint it's like magic creating things with paint and then we give them life so this is super cool all right so let me go and do this i want to start just blending again the blue around uh around the the purple see let's just blend that color around and then remember it doesn't have to be perfect just blend that around it doesn't have to be perfect just go with the flow have fun relax don't stress and do your best everybody just do it like this go for it just do it just do it just do it here and keep going and painting the rest in blue, all right? Just do it like that. Very, very simple step. So I'm gonna get more blue and keep painting uh, this here. All right, there you go. I'm keep painting the blue around. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just go with the flow, just have fun. Just like this. Just go side by side if you like. Just make the circles, just keep going. You are doing a great job. You know, I know that, I know that for sure. Let's keep doing this all the way down, everybody, all the way down, okay? There you go. All right, so I'll just keep going down, all the way down here. There you go. And then you also welcome, if you have this type of canvas, all right? If you have this type of canvas, like mine here, all right? So um, we can also paint the edges here in blue, right here on the sides. Uh, I want to paint the sides too in blue. It looks nicer when you hang it on the wall. Just do it like this. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I like it. You can paint the bottom too. If you want to paint the bottom, do it last. Because you have to hold it, I have to hold it. So I want to leave that last, okay? When it's dry, the size is dried and, and all that stuff. But in the meantime, just keep going like this. Just fill it in with blue color. There you go. It's all done right here with the background. So we are going to do another step right now. But in the meantime, uh, I'm gonna wait for everybody to catch up here. You maybe got a little behind because sometimes I go super quick and I understand and, and I, I apologize for that. But, um, how you guys, what do you guys think? You guys like the process? It's pretty cool, right? Really cool, love it, it's super nice. Uh, I can wait to show you the next step. Do you guys know what's the next step gonna be? Um, you know what? We are doing the little stars here in the bottom. What do you guys think, you guys? Uh, let me show you real quick, close up. It has a little stars here. And this is something very simple step that we're gonna do. To create those stars. Anybody have any idea how to create those stars? Um, uh, okay, you, you're close, right? So we are going to use white paint, of course, yeah? But I'm gonna use this medium brush, right? This medium brush is going to be um, helpful to create those little sparkles there. Um, we're gonna do some, um, uh, we're gonna spray it the white paint on the canvas. And this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna dip my brush in the canvas, and, and the water, I mean, not in the canvas, okay? And the water. So get the water here, you know? It's watery, got the white color. So we're gonna get the white color here, close up. The white color here, just like that, with the water. Just more water, okay? Just remember, we gotta add more water. I got more water. It's you know I want my my uh, white color to be really liquid. 
So this is what we're gonna do. So, okay, so grab your canvas, or leave it on the easel, or leave it on the table, and then we're just gonna use our fingers like this, look. Really simple step, just like that. This is spraying all the white paint, and it looks like stars. See, very simple step. There you go. That's all we need. We don't need to spray it a lot. Just doing something more on the bottom, okay? That's that's the way I like it. More like that, all right? Very simple step, everybody. It's awesome. I really like it. Beautiful. There you go. Um, that's the next step. That'll be the next step. You guys can just um, do it like that. Um, what do you guys think? You guys having fun? I'm having so much fun here with you and I can't wait to show you the next step. The next step will be super simple, everybody. Uh, we're gonna create um, the, uh, the the tree stamps here, the branches uh, and everything. So it's gonna be super fun to create this uh, here. So remember, stay focused, remember, stay positive, and, and remember, you can do more things than this. And you guys are very artistic and very talented. And I can't wait to see your work. Uh, and I can't wait to show your parents what you did. Um, all right. So this is so great. Uh, now what we're going to do here is going to be the next step. The next step, we're going to use only, only, only black color. Okay. So that's what we're going to start doing. This here, the tree. So we're gonna clean our brush. Remember, we always clean our brush for the next color. So I'm gonna clean my medium brush, all right? So um, it's clean already, clean. All right, so I'm gonna get black color. There you go, just the black color here. Um, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start by creating this line from like below the moon, right? Just like that, very simple step. Very simple step, this is what we're gonna do here. Just from here going down uh, to the corner, okay? Or we can start from the corner all the way up like this, going this way, all right? So let's do it. So I'm gonna start by creating this line down, okay? So from here, um, just gonna start making this little line below the, um, just over the moon, just going down all the way to the corner. Just like that. But remember, these trees, uh, they're a little wider on the bottom, so we're gonna create uh, another little line there and we're gonna fill it in. And that's gonna be part of the tree, okay? This is just the step here. And then just like that, very simple step, okay? Just like that, it just, like a stick here and black and and we're gonna create the branches right now with the same brush that we use in the flat medium brush All right this is black color you can create i want to do three little lines here like you see this one here i have three here this is what i'm gonna do here okay uh i'm gonna do this one here i'm gonna create three there's already already one two Okay, I'm sorry, it's kind of thick. Two, and then I'm gonna create another one, three. It's just like that, right? Very simple step. Uh, I'm gonna create another branch here, right on the bottom. Another one here, remember it, start thick and end like a little thinner, all right? Create another one here in the bottom, just like that. Remember, just black color. And we're gonna create another one here, just a little one here, to the other side. All right, just like that, very simple step. Very simple step, everybody. You guys know, I know you guys are doing such a great job. All right, just like that, very simple step. Awesome, right? What do you guys think? All right, so the next step, we're gonna do another one. The same kind of similar to this. The same thing, it's the same step, it's gonna be on the top. You guys notice there's another uh, branch over there um, on the top. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do like another one here on the top. 
going from this side here, just make a little branch here like that. And then you're gonna do two on the top and maybe just a little one here. So it's gonna be three, but one more lower than the other ones. These are, uh, the top ones are like together, all right? And we're gonna create another one, little one here. Just like that. Very simple step. And we all doing it with the medium brush and black color, all right? Very, very simple step. Very simple step, all right? Cool, I like it. It's looking awesome. And I know you guys are doing such a great job. I can't wait to show you the next step. The next step will be the bushes here. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna use the same brush that we're using. Okay, the same brush with black color. So this is gonna be super easy with the same color, black. This is what you're gonna do. We are going to dab our brush on the branches here. Very simple, you see? I'm gonna do this just, it's gonna be fun. This is fun uh, technique. Let's do this, I'm gonna put it close up. And then you're just gonna dab like brush like this. Just like that. Another one here. And remember, it doesn't have to be fully like black. You can leave some spots like that with no with no black, okay? Just like that, let's see. You can leave some some, some spots without, uh, you, I wanna see the, the background in blue, all right? So just like that, just do that real quick. Doing each branch here. So this is what I'm doing, just like that. Super easy. Just like that, just have fun, all right? Just have fun. Just go with the flow. It doesn't have to be perfect. I know you guys, it's better if you make it different than mine. You know why? Because it's more unique. If you come up with your own style ideas, it's even better, okay? So I'm not just letting you know, all right? Just keep keep adding those, um, keep dapping your paintbrush like this. Very super easy, just like that. Have fun doing that, just dapping the brush, just like that. Super, super cool. All right. I'm adding the other one here and the last one here. Oh no, not the last one. But you have one more in the bottom. All right, thank you for letting me know that. <laughs> there you go, just like that, very simple step. All right, I'm doing another one here. Doing another one here, just like that. Very simple. And that's it for the, the, the uh, trees, the bushes here and everything. Super cool, super easy, and uh, super nice, right? You guys like it? All right, I really like it too. This is super cool. Um, I can't wait to show you the next step. Let me know when you guys are ready. Uh, but I know you're still doing the Dapping on the on the canvas. I know you guys still doing that, but you know that's why we're gonna wait a little bit here, and I'm gonna show you how to paint the little cat on the on the um, on the tree. Um, this is a really cute painting. I really like it. It's super nice. Uh, I can't wait to show you the next step. Okay, so let me get my skinny brush. Here it is. This is a skinny brush. Um, ready? All right. All right, ready. Um, this is what we're gonna do now. Uh, we are going to create a, 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 a shape of an egg for the, for the cat, okay? You guys like cats? You know, I have two cats at home and I have another one that uh, it's my neighbors, but she, uh, the cat is always in my backyard. And I always, and I always said it's gonna be mine now. Uh, Cause he's always there. <laughs> now it's my neighbors, but I take care of him too, all right? All right, let's do this. Let's uh, use the skinny brush. I wanna get black color too, all right? All right, so it's black color. We're gonna make a shape of an egg for the body, okay? We're gonna do a little egg here. 
like a shape of an egg, right? And then fill it in with black, okay? Just like that, all right? Very simple step. Just like that, like an egg, right? Right? Just like that. After you create that uh, shape, we're gonna do the little legs here um, on this side. Just like that. Very simple. Maybe we can make it a little bigger, but it's okay. Just like that. Very simple step. All right. Super cool. I really enjoy doing this class and especially with you right now. You guys um, being creative and I'm so proud of you already. Okay. So um, the head is going to be, uh, you can do a circle if you want. Um, I mean, I can do a circle. Uh, just a little circle on the top. Just like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. The circle doesn't have to be perfect. Make the little ears on the top. Like that. See? It doesn't have to be perfect. Just go for it. And the most important thing here is that you're trying something new. That you're trying this painting and you're having a great time. And then also being creative. That's one of the main things to be creative. All right. All right. So you got that right there. Okay. So we got to do the whiskers with the same brush. We can do three. If you want to do more, you can do more. Okay. One, two, three. Just create three whiskers, three on each side. Awesome. I really like the way you guys are doing your painting. It's super cool. I know that. I know that for sure. And you guys know the last step here. We have a last step here that's going to be the cat's tail. And it's very simple step. It's going to be more like a little hook that we're going to go down like this. You can create. You can also create like a letter S if you want to do that. Uh, Just like that. Very simple. This still looks a little bit different. I, I create this one a little bit of different, okay? So I think that I did the tail longer. Uh, but it's okay, you know? Very simple. All right. This is awesome. I really love this class, everybody. I really like you guys did an amazing job. The last thing that we gotta do, we never gonna, we can't just leave our painting like that. Do you guys know what it needs to be done for this painting to be complete? The to to paint to this painting to be complete, we need something very special, and that's a signature. So I'm gonna put my signature here, Nacho Moya. I was gonna say just Nacho, Nacho 2020. All right, Nacho 2020 here. That's my name, and I put the date 2020. So that's uh great um that you can keep that in your painting all right so i wanted to say thank you again for taking this class with me here uh i appreciate that a lot i know you guys did an amazing job uh, i want to say thank you again for taking this class and i had a great time with you and i uh, hope to see you soon for the next class all right Thank you so much for taking this class with me, Nacho Moya, Moya Art Gallery Studio in Gilroy, California. And I hope to see you soon one day. Uh, if you guys wanna uh, visit the studio, it's in Gilroy. Uh, you, you are more than welcome, all right, to come. All right. Sounds good. Thank you again for, uh, your, um, for being here in this class again. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much and I appreciate that a lot. I know you guys did a good job, and I can't wait to see you again. See you later, okay? Take care, and always keep working hard on your dreams, okay? See you guys.